एवरेज एज ऑफ अ कपल मैरिड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स अगो वॉज हाउ मच ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स फाइन द प्रेजेंट एवरेज एज ऑफ द फैमिली इफ दे हैव अ थ्री ईयर ओल्ड डॉटर नाउ दीज आर द टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच दे आस्क इन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम ना इफ यू लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन देर इज अ टू कॉन्सेप्ट इन्वॉल्व वन इज दे आर आस्किंग प्रॉब्लम ऑन एवरेज प्लस दे आर आस्किंग एवरेज प्लस एज प्रॉब्लम so two concepts involved please focus on the question they are telling average age of a couple married 20 years ago was how much 25 so whenever they talk about age what we have to do is we have to always take present age so let the present age of the man be x let the present age of the woman be y 20 years ago means can i say man will be x minus 20 correct what about woman will she be young as before no she will be y minus 20 20 years ago man is x minus 20 woman is y minus 20 their average which means we add them up and divide by how many people two people this they have given as how much 25 this is how you build the equation clear now people so this will be x plus y minus 20 minus 20 is minus 40 equal to 2 into 25 is how much 50 okay now what is x plus y x plus y will be minus 40 if it comes this side it will become plus 40 50 plus 40 is nothing but 90 so can i say the sum of present ages of man and woman is 90 but in the question what are they asking they are asking average age of the family which means husband's age wife's age and daughter's age daughter is how old 3 years now we have to divide by how many people three people correct so what is x plus y Sir, x plus y is ninety. Ninety plus three is ninety-three, and we divide this by three, so this will be ninety-three by three is nothing but thirty-one years. I hope you have understood the concept. Now, this is one method of solving. Okay, can we solve this problem faster? You can solve it faster. What are they telling in the question? Average age of a uh, family. Sorry, not family. Average age of a couple married how many years ago? 20 years ago was 25 years so average was 25 what i will do is i will assume husband is 25 wife is 25 is the average still 25 yes or no now husband was 25 20 years ago so after 20 years that which, which means present he will be how much 45 years woman who was again 25 after 20 years she will be how much 45 sir husband 45 wife 45 total 90 and daughter 3 so what is 90 plus 3 93 93 divided by 3 31 years are we getting the same answer this is the way to solve the problem is it clear these are the textbooks method which you don't have to solve it you have to understand how it is working but in the exam this is the technique you follow okay so what we will do is next couple of problems we will apply the second method and not the first method but for our reference we should know the concept so you can just copy down these steps average age of husband and wife was how much 23 years at the time of their marriage now average was 23 at the time of their marriage after 5 years so what i will do here is at the time of their marriage means i'll assume husband 23 wife 23 is the average still 23 Yes or no? After five years means man will be how much? Twenty-eight. Woman will be how much? Twenty-eight. Together, fifty-six. And how old is the son? The son is one year old. So what is fifty-six plus one? Fifty-seven. So we got the total age of the family divided by how many people? Three. So answer should be fifty-seven divided by three. Now what is fifty-seven by three? Fifty-seven by three is nothing but nineteen years. Do we have that option? Option C. I hope the concept is clear. Shall we move on to the next one? Okay. Average age of a class of twenty students is how much? Eleven. So, what do you understand from this? Average of twenty students is eleven years. So, can I say the sum of twenty students will be twenty into eleven? People, what is twenty into eleven? That is nothing but two twenty years. so this is the sum of 20 students this is what i get to know from the first statement and this is what you this is how even you should try to solve in the exam okay as soon as you read this question 
average of 20 students is 11. As soon as you read, you have to get to know, okay, average of 20 is 11, which means total will be 20 into 11, that is nothing but 220. Should be recorded in your brain. Okay, now look at the next part. When the teacher was added, average became 13 years. Teacher was added means, now how many people, is it only 20? Teacher added, no sir, so one extra member, 21. Average became 13 years. So can I say this is the sum of students plus teacher? So can I say sum of students age plus teachers age will be 21 into 13. What is 13 into 21? That is nothing but 260 plus 13, 273 years. Now people, only students is 220 years. Students plus teacher is 270 years, 273 years. So what is the difference between them? Difference between them is 53 years. Can I say this 53 years is the age of the teacher? Yes or no? I hope you have understood this concept. This is method number one. This is how 99% of people solve. But this is not the way how people of quant masters solve. Okay. So can we do this in another way? Let me take another way. What are they telling? People, what is the final average we got? 13. What was the initial average we had? 11. Let the age of the teacher be X. I hope concept is clear. Now, how far is 11 from 13? Sir, 11 is 2 less than 13. Now, is this the average of 1 student or 20 students? 20 students, no. So, we multiply by 20. Now, you tell me what is minus 2 into 20? Minus 40. To make it 0, plus 40. Which means x is 40 more than 13. What is 40 plus 13? 53 years. Are we getting the same answer faster, bypassing all the calculation? Yes or no? So this is method number 2. So now you tell me which method will you follow? Method 1 or method 2? Method number 2. But I will go with method number 3. Okay. So can we solve this even more faster? Yes, sir. Now try to understand the question. And now you will be able to solve it within one line or without even touching the pen. See. Question, what are they telling? Average age of a class of 20 students is how much? 11. Now, I will assume even teacher is 11 years. Okay, don't get into the age part. Try to understand. Now, students are 11 years and even teacher is 11 years. Will the average change? Average will not change. So, I will write, let the initial age of the teacher be 11. But what is happening? When the teacher is included, average is increasing by how many years? It was 11 years. Then it became 13 years. So, can I say average is increasing by 2 years? Now, this 2 years increase on how, on how many people? Is it on 20 people or 21 people? It is increasing on all the 21 people. So, I will multiply this 2 with 21. Sir, initial age of teacher, I will assume as 11. What is happening when the teacher is included? Average is increasing by 2 years on all the 21 people. So, you tell me what is 21 into 2? 42. What is 42 plus 11? 53. Now you tell me which method will you apply. Method number 3 is faster without even touching your pen. So what we will do is, we will, see this is very important. So we will try to practice the next sum using the same method. Is it clear? All of you, please take down all the three methods. Average age of a class of 20 students is 10 years. Now we will, this we will solve using method 3. Method number 1 and 2. Let other people do. We of quant masters are not doing method 1 and 2. We are doing only method number 3 in one line or without even touching the pen. Now, average of a class of 20 students is 10 years. When the teacher was added, average became how much? 13 years. Am I right? So, what we will do is, we will assume even teacher was 10 years. Sir, if teacher was 10 years, average wouldn't have changed. Am I right? But what is happening after the teacher is included, average is becoming how much? 13. From 10 to 13 means, can I say 3 years increase? Now, this 3 years increase on how many people? 20 people or 21 people? On 21 people. So, this will be 3 into 21. Sir, increase of 3 years on 21 people. So, you tell me what is 21 into 3? 21 into 3 is 63. What is 63 plus 10? 73. Do we have this option? 73 years. Yes, sir. That is option number 1. I hope you have understood the concept. Please copy it down. Average age of a class of 20 students is how much? 12 years. Correct? So I'll assume even teacher is 12 years. 
But what is happening after that? When the teacher's age was added, average became 14 years. From 12 to 14 means, can I say 2 years increase? On how many people? On 21 people. That's all people. What is 21 into 2? 42. 42 plus 12? 54. Do we have this option? That is option number D. Fourth option. Within one line, you will get to know how. If you practice this more and more, you can do this without even touching the pen. Clear? Please make a note of this. A batsman scored 135 runs in his 20th innings and increased his average by how much? 5 runs. Find his average after 20th innings. Am I right? Now, this type of question again is very important. These are asked in many IT companies as well as in competitive exams. Many people will get stuck. So, I'll tell you the best way to start solving the problem. Whatever is given in the question, write on that. Okay. They're telling a batsman scored 135 runs in his 20th innings. So, can I say I got to know the number of innings is how much? 20. And he's scoring 135 runs in his 20th match. And his average is increasing by how much? 5 runs. People, this is what they have given in the question and this is what I will write first. Now, observe. Do I know what is the sum of his runs from 1st match to 19th match? No, sir. So, let us take it as X. Do we know what was his initial average? No, sir. Let us take it as Y. Clear till here? So, this is the sum of runs in 20 matches. Divided by 20 number of matches will give me the average. This average is Y plus 5. Now, maximum people, they will go wrong here. They will try to simplify this and they'll get stuck. You are not doing this. Sir, X and Y, there are two unknowns in one equation I cannot solve. Sir, if there are two unknowns, I need two equations. So, what I will do is, I'll just go one step back. Till 19th match, what was the sum of runs? X. And what was his initial average? Y. From this, can I say, X is equal to 19Y. I'll substitute that here. So instead of X, I'll write it as 19Y plus 135 divided by 20 will be equal to Y plus 5. So 19Y plus 135 will be equal to 20 into Y is 20Y plus 20 into 5 is 100. People, what is 20Y minus 19Y? It is Y. What is 135 minus 100? It is 35. So, y equal to 35. Now, maximum people, as soon as they get 35, first option will be 35, they'll get emotional ticket off, which is wrong. They're asking me average after 20th innings. Average after 20th innings is y plus 5. That is 35 plus 5, 40 runs. I hope you have understood the concept. Now, this question again can be done in a better way, in a faster way. How? Let me take an example, okay? Um, let me say first semester I scored 60%, second semester I scored 60%, third semester 60, fourth, fifth semester 60. So can I say my average at the end of five semesters is 60%? Now in the sixth semester, again if I score 60%, my average will be 60, no. But in the sixth semester, I am scoring 90%. Clear? Which means how much percent am I scoring extra? I am scoring 30% extra, am I right? Now people, can I say this 30% will get distributed among all the 6 semesters? Yes or no? So 30 divided by 6 means what? 5% which means every semester my average is increasing by 5%. Concept clear? Now I'll try to put this in the other way, try to understand, okay? Sir, my average increases by 5% in all the 6 semesters. So how much have I scored extra? Average is increasing by 5% in all the 6 semesters. So what is 5 into 6? 30%. Sir, out of 90%, I have scored 30% extra. Try to understand. Out of 90, if I have scored 30% extra, what are the remaining we have? 60. This was my initial average. I hope the concept is clear. Now I'll apply the same concept in this sum. What are they telling the question? A batsman scored 135 runs in his 20th match and increased his average by... 5 runs, which means can I say every match in the 20 matches is average is increasing by 5 runs, which means he has scored 5 into 20, 100 runs extra. Clear? Sir, he has scored 135. In this 135, he scored 100 runs extra. So what is the remaining part? 35. This was his initial average. 
Now his average increases by 5 runs, so it becomes 35 plus 5, that is nothing but how much? 35 plus 5, it is 40 runs. I hope you have understood the concept. Though you know the technique, please take down the concept so that you have better grip on the concepts. Please make a note.